The time will pass. This intrinsically simple yet profound quote changed everything for me because it made me realize that regardless of the action or inaction that I took, the time will pass. My future will come. Your future will come. The time will pass. So you have a choice today. You can change the trajectory of your life and create a new future, but it will all come from the actions that you take today or the inactions that you don't take today. It's your choice. So bear that in mind when you watch this video. I've created a few steps that will help you in creating this new future. So don't skip through them. They're built in a articulate consecutive order that will allow you to build off the last step and create the precedent for the next step beyond it. The first step, prioritize your health. Without health, there is no future. Your health is the most important thing you can look after. So take care of it. That means work out, that means take care of your body, it means take care of your mind, it means take care of your spirit. There's three pillars to health and we often see in the world, especially the West, people neglect certain pillars. We may take care of our mind, we may take care of our body, we may go to the gym, we may not take care of any of these. If you don't take care of all three of these pillars, you will feel it. The trouble is nowadays we don't take care of mostly any of these, but some people take care of two. They take care of the mind and body, but they don't take care of the spirit. If you don't take care of the spirit, it means that you're gonna be hollow. You're gonna, you're gonna feel like there's something missing. And we often don't know what or where this feeling comes from, but that's likely the reason is that you don't have a connection with divinity or any spirituality of any sort. You don't have to be super religious or read the Bible or any biblical text. Just have some connection with your spirituality and divinity and something more, whether that means you connect with nature, whether that means that you can understand the presence of love in your life, the connection in relationships, the connection with animals, whatever the case may be, find this and build it into your life. With the mind, meditation, breath work, things like this can all help clear your mind, create a better mind for you to experience life from. You have to improve your mind, you have to take care of it, otherwise it will become the master of you, it will dictate your life and you will see negative ramifications because of that. The body, you need to take care of it, you need to work out, you need to eat well, nutritious food, whole foods, you need to take care of these things, otherwise they will deteriorate, they will become worse and you will become riddled with disease, weakness, fatigue, your joints will get weaker, your muscles will get weaker. We often just wait until these things happen before we take action. Be proactive rather than reactive. Take care of these things now while you're still well. Don't wait until later in life where it all goes wrong. You've been given some disease or some illness or God forbid some terminal disease and then you want to take action and then you regret the decisions that you make now. Take the good decision now so you can create that future of health in the future. As I said, without health, there is no future anyway. There is no future for you to create. Health first and foremost. The next step is to work on yourself. Understand that you create what you are, not what you think. It's an often a misconception of law of attraction. We think that we can just think things into existence to just want it and it comes. Law of attraction works by you attract what you are. The type of person you are, the type of things that you think, the type of feelings that you feel all encompass what you are as a person. And that is what attracts what you experience in life because it's a vibrational match. If you often see the things around you in life, it's a reflection of who you are. The people you hang around with, the music that you listen to, the things that you're interested in are all a reflection of what you're attracted to what you're creating in your life at this moment because of who you are. So working on yourself will help change who you are and that change in who you are will help attract new things into your life. You can't just think things into existence but who you are as a person is completely different to what you think. 
You have to become that person. That's why they always say you have to feel it because feeling it is a reflection on being it. Change who you are, change that sense of self. Work internally on yourself. And this also means develop skills. We live in a world now that's abundant in resources, abundant in information. You can be 10 times, if not 100 times the person that you could have been a century ago. You have access to so much information, so much resource. You can become an amazing person, a skilled person. Don't let that go to waste. Add new skills to your arsenal, add new skills to yourself, and then you can harness those skills to create a better life. You can create financial wealth with those. You can create prosperity for the people around you. You can create endless possibilities of new skills. Work on yourself, develop these things. That will then create the trajectory of this promised future that you want to create. That's the internal work. Now, as we move from the internal, we move to the external. In the next step, setting goals. Now, what I mean by this simply is set goals, measure them, track them. You can't just set goals that just blow into the wind and just get lost in the abyss of everything. You have to set goals of intention and follow through with these goals, track them. If you say you wanna lose weight, but then don't track anything. You don't track your weight, you don't track measurements, you don't track how you look in the mirror, you don't have any feedback from your body of whether this is working or not working. Then the likelihood is you're not gonna lose weight, you're not gonna be able to maintain that long term. You have to have constant feedback in these areas because when you set the goal, in order to know if it's working, you have to measure it against something. You have to say, okay, I've set the goal to earn more money and I'm earning more money or I've set the goal to lose this weight and I'm seeing I'm losing it like you have to set the goal with intention when you set goals you can keep improving on those goals and create that future you can create that new person because that person you want to become is going to have goals they're going to have ambitions that's why you want to create the future right that's why you're watching this video set goals stick to them follow through with them you can also use smart goals. You can use any method that you want. The next step is to take accountability for your life. A simple concept, but many, most people don't do. We love to be the victim. We love to blame other things in life. To put a ceiling on ourselves and say, we can't do this because of X, or we can't do this because of Y, whatever the case may be. Take accountability, understand that you've created this life that you're living. You can create a new one. And that's what you're trying to do. You wanna create that new future. How can you create a new future if you don't take accountability for everything in your life? To take accountability may mean that you have to understand the concept that some of this is your fault. Own that, own the mistakes. You can own the good things too, own the good and the bad. You understand that you've created this life you can create a new one and you will create a new one, but you need to take accountability because in taking accountability, there's power. In blaming and being the victim, there's no power. Then you become a feather in the wind that just blows you from left to right and you have absolutely no control. Life will take you where it wants to go and if it takes you into a pile of dog shit, so be it. You're the victim, right? You can't change anything. Wrong. Take accountability. Decide where you want to go and go there. Decide what you want to do and do it. You have free will. You have choices to make, decisions to make. You can become anything that you want. If you believe that you won't become it, then you won't become it. If you believe that you can become it, then you can become it. It's that simple. Look at your life and understand that the areas that you set ceilings, that you set boundaries and say, I can't do that. I can't do this. Does it help you? Does it make you feel more comfortable that you're just sad old, sad old me that can't ever go to that place or ever become this person? What's the point? Why? Why do that when you can become whatever you want to become? The next step is critical thinking. 
Now this step is absolutely being lost in the world. The ability to look with your own eyes, to hear with your own ears, and to cipher information from all opposing points of view. You may not agree with every single viewpoint. You may agree with some, you may disagree with some. But the analogy of the 10 men that drew pieces of the elephant encompasses this perfectly. I don't know the exact story, but it was something along the lines of they had 10 men draw an elephant from their point of view. So one man drew the trunk, one man drew the towel, one man drew a leg, etc. And each of them was unable to see the elephant in its entirety because they only looked at it from their point of view. The same thing applies to life. You have to be able to look at life from all angles to see all points of view because that will then allow you to see the full picture. If you can see the full picture and critically think and make your own decisions, that will give you more power to create a positive future because you can see all options available, all possibilities, all points of view and decide where you want to go. Decide what you want to do. If someone only gives you one view to take, one point of view to follow, you can only go one way. Take in as much information as possible, critically think for yourself and decide the future you want to create. Decide what you want to believe in. Create your own person. Don't just follow dogma and doctrines of people telling you, do this, do this, do this. I know advice and guidance can be helpful, but learn to just take what you want and use it as a tool in your arsenal. A wisdom from this person, wisdom from this person, and then you can create the new person from that. Don't just follow someone blindly. The next step is to embrace change, to know that challenge is going to come, change is going to come, discomfort is going to come. Embrace that, embrace change, embrace adversity, embrace discomfort. It's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you better equipped to deal with life's challenges. And when change comes, move with it because we can't stay in stagnation. We can't stay in the same rut our entire lives because that's just going to create more of what we don't want in the future. If you want to create a new future, that means change, right? So when change comes, embrace it, move with it because it's taking you to that new future. You're attracting new experiences, new things in your life. If you shy away from that and return to your comfort zone and return to what you know, it may feel better initially, but over a long period of time, that will only yield the same life, the same now. The future will remain as it is now, the same life. You want to create a future, you want to create a new life, you need to create change and you need to embrace change. The next step, assess and improve. Now what I mean by this is simply assess every single area of your life consistently and constantly and then make change to what you need to change. Look at your body, does it need to improve? Look at your mind, does it need to improve? Look at your relationships, look at your financial situation, your social situation. Look at every single area that you can articulate and measure and then just decide, can I improve? Yes, so I will improve. And you can iron out all the creases of your life, all the areas that you're lacking and bring every single area up to a high standard, a high degree. And as we said earlier, with you create and attract what you are, when you elevate every single area of your life, you're going to create more of those things in your life because you, you are this person now, right? You're not just thinking it, you are it. So constantly look at your life, look at the areas that where you fall short, where you can improve and improve them. Become better, become elevated in every single area and that will then put you on a higher trajectory for a better future because the future is going to come from the actions you take now so every single time you're improving it's cr creating your future whether you realize it or not and the same thing applies whether you don't do the things you need to do and you keep declining in all these areas that's going to create your future too as we said at the start the time will pass your future will come 
It's all in the actions now. And that leads me on to my final point, action. It's all well and good watching these videos and mentally masturbating that you're doing work when you're not. And you may love all these ideas and embrace all these ideas, but you need to take action. Without action, nothing is gonna change. You can have a million books in your home, but if you don't read them, if you don't embrace the change, embrace the action, what's gonna change? Nothing. So take action, take action today. Don't look at the Z, don't look at A and realize, I need to go here, this is the Z, this is too difficult. Look at the B, go to the B, then go to the C, then go to the D. If you wanna work out, don't look at that end goal and go, how am I gonna get there, that's so difficult. Just look at the B. Okay, I'm here. The B is, I go outside, I start running. I The B could even be, I put on my running shoes, I put on my running trainers and just go. That could be the B. Just that first step can set the precedent for the next step and the next step. And before you know it, you're making progress, you're setting goals and you can achieve the end goal. But just take that first step the first piece of action and this will create your future thanks for watching and remember you're here to evolve